Hi guys, thank you so much for checking out the video. I have a special guest today, uh, Mr. Alex Cormont. Um, Alex is a entrepreneur, a love coach, and a best-selling author. Uh, real quickly, Alex, if you could just give the viewers a brief description of what you do and how you got involved in it. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's a real pleasure. So as you said, my name is Alex Cormont. Uh, I started to be a relationship expert to, in 2007 in France, so I have a strong French accent. And uh, since that moment, I just found my, uh, my passion for being an entrepreneur also. So I moved to the US four years ago. I translated my philosophy. And uh, now I have like um, translated in eight languages. So I am pretty worldwide. And so I build a business audience with my personal branding, with a YouTube channel, with Facebook, with some blog articles. So I created a lot of content. And I also train people in France, in the US, that wants to create their online businesses, specifically on how to use YouTube and how to gain traffic on your website. So this is my journey since uh, 2007. That's awesome. And you've been real successful with that too. How many subscribers do you have on YouTube? It's over 700,000, right? Yes. So on my French YouTube channel, it's like around 735,000 actually. Worldwide, because I have like other YouTube channel, it's close to 1.5 million subscribers. Wow. So, which is, uh, it was, it was tough. It was a challenge to be honest. And also for me, my, just, just learning English for me was difficult. So then doing videos in English, doing speeches and, uh, now to have people from all over the world, just sharing my philosophy. That was a long journey. Yeah, that's impressive. So what do you, what would you think, what would you say is the key to having a successful YouTube channel? I, is it just producing content continually? <laughs> I feel that this is something that is really important. I have to be honest with you, there is two major decisions that I have made that helped me build my uh, YouTube channels. It was number one, to produce a content daily. So every single day I would produce content, meaning publishing videos, because I know that in my field, it's not the one for everyone. It's not the same story for everyone. Sometimes it's not once a day that you have to post, but you have to be consistent, really important. Because my major mistake in the beginning was, okay, during one week I will publish 10 videos and during three months I will disappear from YouTube. This, they don't like it. Algorithm doesn't like it. Advice number two is to learn about SEO, search engine optimization. So I was creating good content, good videos, spending real time on it, then publishing without a good title, without tags, without description. So basically no one were able to know what my video was about. It was just for myself, basically. And when I found it that there is SEO, there is marketing, there is tools to help you just be better on YouTube. My, my, since that moment, it was in the January 26, 2017, my YouTube channel just is growing continuously and I just duplicated, uh, as I said, in the other languages, other fields from love to personal development to entrepreneurship. So um, I just found my my way to just use YouTube, yeah. That's awesome. How old were you when you decided to become an entrepreneur or were, or did you already, ha your whole life have that burning desire to be an entrepreneur? Was there a time in your life where you made that transition? So, you know, I always had the desire to be free. My motto was like, I want to be free. I don't want to work for someone else. That was really something really important for me. And before to be an entrepreneur, I was a basketball player. I used to be a, like in a national team for France when I was young. And wow. so my goal was, well, my dream was to be like a, a basketball uh, player. And that's why I'm a big Heat fan now that I live in Miami. So I'm going to the game like all the time. But um, unfortunately, you know, at this moment, I have to say that um, I broke my knee, but also I didn't have the mindset that I have today. So being an entrepreneur was not something that I was dreaming about. It was more, okay, I don't want to have like a boss. I want to be free. And so I started when I was 19. So it was pretty early. I'm 31 now. So it was 12, 12 to 13 years ago. And um, I, was, I just dreamed about doing whatever I want in my life. That was my, and it's still the same motto that I have every single day. Do, I just do what I want and I like it, of course. Yeah, that's interesting. You know, you're lucky you started so you started pretty young 19 years old you know I, I really had my transition I would say probably three or four years ago and it's incredible the amount of stuff that you can accomplish once you change your mindset 
Exactly, exactly. I do know, for me, I started early, but I just made a lot of mistakes during five or six years. And then I found that being an entrepreneur means you have to educate yourself. There's two ways to educate yourself. You go to school or you learn. For me, I learned a lot from books, you know, the same books that everyone, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, How to Think and Grow, Rich, and, uh, you know, all those books that, um, not the same title in France, but anyways, just the same books that you learn about, oh my God, this guy is a human being and he has done everything that he wants in his life. Why not me? And then you start finding, you know, some solutions. So, as you say, once you shift your mindset, everything is different. Everything. Yeah, that's great. Now, a hot question right now is, is the coronavirus, is it affecting you? And what are you doing as we get through these tough times? So it's a really tough time. Um, you know, when it first started, I was in Thailand, so close to China. It was China and New Year Eve, so a lot of Chinese people traveling there uh, to party. And I was not scared. I thought it was just media or, you know, like a small thing. And I have to be mad at myself because now I can just measure the fact that it's a real problem in the world. So I'm fortunate because I work online. So it didn't really change my behavior or my habits. I still work online. I still have clients. So nothing dropped for me. It's just more that France is a country where there is a lot of case. People have to stay home like in the U.S. So I'm scared for my family. And, you know, being aware of your family and friends in these special moments make me realize that money is good, money is important, but it's not everything. So that's why it's good also you can reconnect. We all reconnect with our, with our values. So my best thing now is to be close to my friends, family, and stay home. I don't move. I really don't go out. That's great. Yeah, that's um, we're, we're locked down here too. I'm not, I'm not really going anywhere or doing anything. But like you said, thank God for the power of the internet. You know, we can continue to push forward in times like these with technology. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, I can see this and as an opportunity for me to say that it's now time for everyone to be their own entrepreneur, their own online entrepreneur, basically to create something where they can go and stay out of the system, meaning like they can be their own boss, they can do whatever they want, still receive money for their knowledge. It's possible to do it. It's really possible. Yeah, it's um, it makes you think about about your finances and how volatile things really are because there's so many people right now that are out of work, you know, who, who can't make a paycheck, who's worried about paying their mortgage. And um, it really makes you think about what you can do to harden your finances so you're not in that particular situation. Exactly. This is something that they have to do now, people, everyone. We have to reflect on life and ask ourselves, how can we do better? What can we do? So I have seen a lot of people and friends, they are just unemployed now because of the situation, because of the virus, the economy. And it hurts because today they can also make a decision and change and just create their own online business or go trading in the, not the stock market now maybe, but just investing in real, real estate. There's a lot of way to win their financial, um, or can I say liberty, freedom. So this, is where I feel that this crisis can be also an opportunity for people to change and to just take control of their life. I've seen so many people being sad or being burned out because of the job that they don't like. It's now that they can change it. So, Yeah, there's no better opportunity than now. You yeah, have no excuse. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I was on your social media and I saw you were posting some pictures. Were you doing some service work at an orphanage or what was that about? Exactly. Thank you so much for asking. Um, I just love people. So basically, I try my best to uh, to help and contribute as much as I can and give back because I receive a lot. So I just report um, three orphanages. The country is Togo. It's in West Africa. It's a French speaking country. And so I went there in 2014. I lost my father a couple of years before and I went there because I needed to just see something different and it blew my mind. I was sad, depressed. I went there and I realized that people have nothing and they are so happy. So I just started contributing and every year I'm going there to give a speech because I still have some people following my YouTube channel and my community. And I also made actions for this orphanage. I also support like a nonprofit here in Miami 
called the motivational age will help people, young kids from foster kids or from the ghetto that doesn't really have um, a good structure at home. They can come, they can learn, they can play. So I'm trying to give back as much as I can. I just feel that, um, yeah, it's just my, my way to contribute since um, for everything that I have learned and uh, receiving too. That's awesome. That's great. When you're in, when you finally get put into that position to give back and you do, that's that's what it's all about. Exactly. Um, if you had to give some advice to a new entrepreneur, you know, me three or four years ago when I made that mind shift change, like you said, I I went to all the books that you heard about, Think and Grow Rich, and you know Grant Cardone's books and stuff, and I started reading as much as I can. And you mentioned that. Other than getting your hands on good material and learning from people who've done it, do you have any other advice for, for new entrepreneurs? Um, yes, I have some advice that I want to share for sure. The first one would be they have to get their own routine and habits. It's really important to be productive. I remember when I was young and starting, I was doing a lot of things, but I was losing a lot of time. I didn't know how to manage my time, my health. So it's really good for you to find your routine because the more you're productive, the more your business will grow really fast. And something that I've done in the past that I continue to do now is to wake up early because that's the best way, best moment where you have focused your energy in the morning. It's not at night for a lot of entrepreneurs. So tips number one would be about like train your mindset and be productive. That's something really, really important. Tip number two, and it's still something difficult for me, you have to trust yourself. What I mean by that is when we start, we have dreams. And when I first started, I told everyone, you know what, I would be the Tony Robbins of love. And everyone told me, damn, you cannot do that. You're crazy. So even if I want to do it, I still have like other people just talking me shit and I feel that I cannot do it. So you need to embrace your vision and you need to be 100% focused on your words and protect this vision. Because the more you talk to outside, the more people will just create some negative emotions in you. And my last advice for an entrepreneur, that's something that I really believe in, you need to have a system that will lead prospect to you. The reason why I'm focusing on YouTube, it's because it's about search. So people that want to find love, I want them to find me. And I don't want to pay ads for it. I want to create content. I want to have like traffic, organic traffic. Yeah. Once we have this plus the funnels or the sales things that we know, we are strong enough. But I've seen so many people, there is so mod, there is some new mod. I don't know if it's the right word for English, but there is the funnels, there's the fact that you have to do like a product launch and all of these things that are coming out. But if you don't have a base of solid traffic, your business will not grow. So I would tell people, focus on organic traffic. That's great. If the viewers want to learn more about you and get their hands on your material, the book that you authored, is it is there an English version or is it only in French? Or? So I offer like material in love in, in English too. It's about French relationship expert, which is all my social media. Could be my YouTube channel or my Facebook. And so in English, I'm doing just consulting. So if they want to write to me, uh, I can send you my email, my French email. It's my first name, Alexandre comment at gmail.com. So that's the best way to contact me. I'm pretty open. I really love the fact that you contact me also. I really appreciate it. You're such an amazing man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I really appreciate your time and uh, giving us and, and sharing some knowledge with us. Um, and uh, I hope you and your family stay well to this whole coronavirus thing. We'll get through it together and uh, we'll continue to push forward. Exactly. I love the, the, the fact that you said that we will get through together because that's the reality. We have to stay together now. We have to stay strong because it's so sad what is happening. You know, just one of my friends lost his mother and I'm like, oh my God, that's like difficult because of the virus. So we oh, have wow. to stay strong. So you, you know someone personally then who's got it? No, I got it, yes, but he's feeling good now. I also have two friends that recover from it, but I know two people that lost their aunt and their mother. So it's really sad. It's really, really sad. Wow, that is. All right, sir. Well, thank you so much for giving us the time. I hope you have a great day and a great week. Thanks so much. You too. Take care.